Hi, it's Candace, one mom with a plan, and we invite you along for our travel adventures from the planning to the destination. We are here at Edgar Evans State Park. Come check out this great Tennessee State Park with us. Come along. Wondering if thousands of miles away, the sky is just as blue. It's as if I'm stuck in yesterday. When I'm thinking of you Cause when you have your morning coffee I'm turning out the lights so I could dream And when you smile through the screen I wish you could be with me So I lay my head to rest When the sun is rising I'll start a brand new day So we're back behind the cabin area here at Edgar Evans State Park. There's a view of the cabins again here during the summertime in early, early fall before the trees have dropped their leaves. You can't, you don't have a real good view of the lake or you can't see the lake real good from the cabin, but it is right there. But right down behind the cabins, there are swings all around a fire pit area which if it wasn't pouring down rain that would be really fun for evening hours and again right behind the cabins is where a pool is located they have shut it down for the season because we're here right at the beginning of the fall time period so um, the pool is not open but we'll give you a little bit better view of the lake here in a second morning we're here at the cabins at Edgar Evans State Park hi guys good morning I wanted to show you just a view of the cabins and what they look like on the inside we're staying in B cabin which this is a little bit different than if you've gone out to Fall Creek Falls or some of the other cabins that are in the area we've also stayed up in Covens in Kentucky um, it's nice that they have the skylight, so I did pick one of the cabins that has the skylight on the front side. And if you're coming over here to the cabin, you'll see that's somebody else's cabin, and you are adjoined. So you have a wall that you're sharing, which I can promise you with the floors of this cabin, it makes it a little bit noisier for your neighbors and for yourself when you've got that adjoining wall right there. So you come in the cabin and you know, you've got a restroom immediately right off to the side. You can go down stairs in our cabin. You got stairs that go down and stairs that go up. So when you come into the cabin here, we got one that had at least double beds. Hey, these have been slept in, just warning you, nothing pretty and fancy in here. Um, we do have the window over there off to the side where we've got a view of the lake, a little bit of a view. If the leaves were gone, we would have a great view of the lake from the room. And then we also have the pool off in the distance. They've got a desk and dresser. I know that was a quick turn. Here we go, going up. Back up the other stairs. We've got a little bit of rain going on, so we're holding off before the big hike today, but you've got a little sitting area. Say good morning, Alexis. Dominoes are in play and a little kitchen area. So plenty of room for a family. And the couch did turn into a couch bed. Ellie Kate, we are hanging out with. Hey, so we're at the Interpretive Center in Edgar Evans State Park this morning, and we're checking out the wildlife that is right here next to the Interpretive Center. Oh, hi guy. You just flew off, didn't you? The owl out here this morning. Oh, and a beautiful hawk. Good morning. Yeah, so really fun. We are right at the Interpretive Center and right across the street. I'm zoomed in. I'll try and go slow 
Right over there across the street is the Storybook Trail. That's the one that we're gonna go on this morning. You've got a small parking lot in the Interpretive Center. Hi. Um, you can go inside and check out all kinds of things. We're gonna go check that out too this morning for you. Let's go see what's inside. <laughs> so this is the Interpretive Center. Look at everything. Oh, the girls are in the ranger. Okay, let me pause the video so I can get that. Look at all this cool stuff. They've got tons of, of nest here. Look at the pretend eggs to show you how small they would be. Turtles. Oh, the kids are loving this. This is a fun little stop. Don't forget if you're coming here to hike, um, the Interpretive Center is a great place to come find out about the community that was previously here and find out about just nature in general. Oh yeah, there is a catfish in there. Lots of fun stuff. Down. Information on the Centerfield Dam and life along King Park. Very, very, very cool. Going down the storybook trail here at Edgar Evans State Park. This one's about 0.4 and really excited to see us go down and be able to read the story as, as we go along. One of the cool things about this trail is it does have a bookmark there at the visitor center at the check-in center when you get done and you have a chance to read your way along. So here we go down the storybook trail. Over in the forest, come and take a peek. All right, here we go. That's the story we're reading today. We've already seen two turkey out here this morning, so maybe we'll see some more nature out on the trail. It's another rainy day here at Edgar Evans State Park, and we're hiking in the fall, and the hurricanes are sending or the remnants of the hurricanes i should say are sending their rain on up this way and so it's been a pretty rainy weekend but that hasn't slowed us down we've really enjoyed every moment here at the park and going out to see burgess state fall park and the waterfall there was awesome up oh, here's our first page of the book over in the forest where the clean waters run lived a busy mother beaver and her little kit one Build, said the mother. I build, said the one. So they helped build a log where the clean water runs. This is like real water right you, here. There, there's water on the sign too. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go find our next page of the book. Okay. Here we go, page number two. Here's more water. Over in the forest in the early morning dew lived a hungry mother deer and her little fawns too. Gray, said the mother. We gray, said the two. So they grazed in the grass in the early morning dew. Okay, let's go find page three. Page three. Let's see what we've got. Over in the forest, in the hollow of a tree, lived a shy mother possum in her little Joey's three. Ride, said the mother. We ride, said the three. So they rode on her back from the hollow of a tree. Oh, There's a real leaf that got stuck to it. That was perfectly camouflaged, wasn't it? Sure. Hide, said the mother. Hide, said the four. Hid in their shells on the damp woodland floor. Awesome. Good job. 
All right, off to number five. This is such a fun trail for reading and just counting for young kiddos and anybody who's got like looking for just an adventure to hiking. This is a pretty fun and easy trail. That is a cool rock. Let's go to number five. Number five here, number five on the storyboard. Over in the forest where the wild berries thrive lived an old mother turkey and her little pouch five. I didn't know that's what they were called. All right, scratch said the mother, we scratch said the five. So they scratched on the ground where the wild berries thrive. Look, we're all learning stuff on the trail today. Oh, we're so close to the water. If this was fall, we would be looking at Center Hill Lake right now, which is cool that we're hiking right along the water's edge. Oh, wow, you guys. Look at this area coming up. Someone left their glove on the tree. Oh, somebody did lose a glove. Well, that's nice that they put it up there so that somebody can come back and find it. The cycle of erosion. Cycle of erosion. Well, we can learn something for sure on the trail. Oh, look, the cycle of erosion is right there. That's what I was saying. See? That's a stream. What is a sinkhole? What are the different types and what causes them? Mm. Alright, number seven. Over in the forest, in a tree that reached towards heaven, lived a mother woodpecker and her little chicks. Seven. Wraps said the mother, we rap said the seven. So they rap tap 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 on the tree that reached towards heaven. All right, number eight. Eight. But it is pretty easy. Eight. Over in the forest where they ate very late, lived a mother raccoon and her little kits ate. Dunk said the mother. We dunk said the eight. So they dunked and they dabbled as they ate very late. Hey, there's an owl. Oh, there's a hidden pitcher. We discovered that there's hidden pitchers in a lot of them if you'll stop and look at them closely. It's very an owl. cool. And there's a man. So we are noticing here that there are nuts everywhere. Some squirrels and some wildlife are having a feast <laughs> with the nuts that are out here. They are completely covering this portion of the trail. And they are all open and have been gobbled up. This one, oh, has it been gobbled up? Yeah. Oh, you found one. They missed one. We'll leave it down. That'll, that'll be somebody's afternoon snack treat. Dad, here's the... Number nine. nine. Over in the forest near an evergreen pine lived a musky mother skunk and her little kits nine. Spray, said the mother, we spray, said the nine, so they sprayed stinky stuff near an evergreen oh, pine. There's an owl. There's the Is that picture. the hidden pitcher? No, that's a bird. And maybe a hawk. What do you think? think Good bird. job spying the hidden pitcher. Okay, we're not going to show you any more hidden pitchers if you're watching. You're going to have to look in the picture and find them yourself. Look, the whole family has stopped to read. So that shows this is a good fun trail for sure. Okay. Over in the forest with his mate in a den lived a father red fox and his little kit's ten. Pounce said the father. We pounce said the ten. So they pounced on the prey that brought to the den. Oh, we found hidden picture, but we may not show you where it's at. All right, here we go. Over in the forest. Come on, let's take a peek while their parents are all resting. The kids play hide and seek. Find us, say the children. From 10 to 1, then go back and start over because the rhyme isn't done. Over in the forest, there is so much to explore. Be sure to track the footprints on the mossy woodland floor. While you're counting footprints, also spy with your eyes to find more forest creatures Every page has a surprise. And there's all the woodland children animals we just read about. What'd y'all think of the trail, girls? I loved it. It was really fun. 
Because we can actually read like the poem and, and it, look so, around it. Yeah, it's so much entertainment other than just really getting out and enjoying nature. Well, come on, let's hike up to the car. There are 12 miles worth of trails here at Edgar Evans State Park. We've got one more in store for you today. Let's go check it out. You're it. We hope you can stay and play, but understand if you must go, we'll keep the hidden here until another day. When you can come and say hello, the hidden animals. Oh, they give you a clue for the hidden animals that you should have been able to find in the pictures. The green tree frog, blue jay, salamanders, common rat snake, coyotes, bobcats, red tail hawk, porcupine, owls, and porcupines. You know what? We're gonna have to go back and look at the pictures because we didn't even know that we were looking for hidden animals. Wow. <laughs> All right, that was fun times. It is a fun hidden picture trip. Okay, so we are at the Millennium Trail here. Um, what a cool trailhead sign that looks like it was painted by a troop. Um, so kind of cool to see that as we get ready to go. This one is going to be a 2.5 mile loop. We should be able to see some stone walls. Two old homestead remnants that are a part of the loop and it's just gonna be another really fun trail. It does follow an old roadbed that once led to the Wolf Creek community. So we're gonna go check it out. Let's go check it out. So this is considered a moderate trail. Lots and lots of rocks so far, just very rocky. Looks like we're still hiking along Center Hill Lake down there. And we are still in rain jackets because it's still raining for us. So wishing you a little bit drier hike if you are following in our footsteps later on. All right, so we've seen deer, turkey, squirrels, and chipmunk. We've got to see if we can spy something new on the trail. All right. There's your old rock walls right there. There's the old stone walls on the Millennium Trail. That's one of the ones that we were trying to hide and seek it's right here off the trail not hard to find there it is you did. no you oh. can you can put this in your closet you'll keep bugs uh moss out of it put your face all the way on it smell it in fact that you can buy stuff in, like beds, here, bath hold it. and beyond and it. You'll have... hey don't try and pull that off just smell it just smell it put your face hey guys this is a sign we're not used to seeing on our hiking trails caution entering hunting area so that's not real cool. All right, I bet you that bridge may have been here. And this is where we could have for sure used it. Because the water's a little bit higher, but there's enough rock so we can get across and soaked. I will be honest, dad did not vote to go on this trail because he knew that we were gonna be getting wet. We we're hoping to get a glimpse of those homesteads here pretty soon. Yeah, Ellie Kate said too. So definitely get your What did we find? Lawn Christian Home Place. We found one of the... It's heavy, huh? So here are the pieces that they've been able to recover from the homestead here. Look at that old pan, girls. Pretty cool. There's an old bowl. Metal bowl? Yeah. Those are tools that they used to use. And here's the sign right here showing where the old home place used to be. And not far from the creek at all, so they had access to water. Pretty cool, one homestead found, one more to go. Let's go, crew. So this is the first Y that you'll experience, a fairly distinctive trail to the right and a trail to the left. 
and it's only if you're paying attention that you'll see there's a trail marker right here saying that you need to be headed down the left side. The right side is actually not a part of the trail and there is a way to take more of a game, game trail, small narrow trail to get you back on the trail if you take that one by mistake. But if you'll just pay attention where the first Y is, take that white trail marker to the left. We've just finished the Millennium Trail here at Edgar Evans State Park. It's raining, you guys. I think I've said that plenty of times. So give me your after trail report. I love the trail. If you're gonna go in and it's raining, bring your raincoat and good shoes. Good okay. shoes. But I really liked it. It was a fun hike because we're in the rain. I think that wearing good shoes, since there were a lot of rocks on the trail and it could be slippery. All right, we saw the stone wall and we saw one home site on here no remnants of actual houses left or cabins left or anything like that um so anything else i want to say um give us a like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for any of our new videos thank you guys and don't forget to give us a thumbs up that's it see for Edgar Air state park we'll see, see you guys, guys on our next adventure bye, bye. Alright, so it's a rainy day here at Edgar Evans, but we wanted to give you a view of one of the campsite areas. One of the things that's unique to Edgar Evans is all the campsites are up on these platforms. So for the trailers and for the tents, you'll see there are platform campsites. And I'm viewing from the inside, of course, because it is raining. Check this one out over here. Wow. People have made themselves at home there on the platform with the tents and everything. I'm trying to be very careful because this is how everybody has their, their cars parked here on the edge. There's a, a little camper up on the platform. Out, and there's one of the platforms right there that doesn't have anything on it. But you can see here at Edgar Evans, this is definitely one of the things that makes this park unique compared to the other parks. I guess with the leaves all off the tree in the winter, you'd probably just look out and see the water. Oh, absolutely. One of you the gotta... things that you'll notice there, hey guys, when you're coming and parking your campers, I heard somebody else say this earlier, you'll notice on the electrical, the electrical plugs in only on one side. So you've got to make sure that your cord is long enough if you're bringing your camper, to make sure you make it to the electrical plug. But very, very, very cool. There is a playground for the kiddos and off in the distance, the brown building down there, that is the restroom area that's out here and available for those that are camping. Just pretty cool to be able to have that elevated campsite right there on the water. Hey, we're gonna check out the camp store today. Look at the lighting, that is so cool. So we're here in the camp store, hiking sticks. This is like the other store though. Don't put your hands on it unless we're gonna get it, okay? Thank you. Lots of great camping supplies here. Some little chalks. Little lanterns. Little lanterns. Yeah, what we do, yeah. T-shirts, trail magnets, medicine, camp stuff, ice cream. Who can go wrong? Any store that's got ice cream wins in my family's book. Oh, uh, awesome. Book exchange for those that are camping here can come up and bring a book and trade a book. So that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I saw that. Side here at the Visitor Center at Edgar Evans State Park, and we are about to go up the tower. Oh, there's the dam on Center Hill Lake up at the top. Let's zoom in a little bit. So a good view from up here at the top. It's great to be able to see Center Hill Dam off there to the edge. And 
You can get here by going to the visitor center and climbing the stairs that are available from inside the visitor center. Thank you.